on today's Church TechCast screencast show. How to add music to your pre-service loop without stopping the music while the slides are playing. Hi everyone, welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I go through some software that helps the church do what she's called to do and uh, helps change lives and eternities. My name is Paul Allen Clifford and I'm your host and I'd love for you to join the conversation. So head on over to TrinityDigitalMedia.com slash contact Drop me a line, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, or you can hit me up on Twitter, Paul Allen Cliff, P A U L A L A N C L I F. Any of those will absolutely work. So, how do you add music to a slideshow? Doing it all in ProPresenter, where the slideshow, each new slide doesn't stop the music. I mean, you, you can see how that might be a problem. So let's head on over to ProPresenter 5 and uh, we'll take a look at basically a technique that I discovered this very weekend on how to do this. So as you're looking here, you might notice that um, I've got the slides up. Uh, what you can't see here, I'll scoot this over is I've also got the audio bin open. So now the audio bin is open and here's the problem that I want to correct. So first off I'm going to um, kill, I'm gonna put that on one of these slides over here, right? So I do that and let's watch what happens. So it's playing here, no problem. Um, here, this has a clear thing that I need to get rid of. I forgot that I'd added that. Um, uh, ba -ba. See, so it's got need to remove that cue. Remove the clear all and right click on this. Sorry about this. And remove the clear audio. Okay. So You'll notice we're at a minute 17 here, and if I, let's say I go here to this, here in 8 seconds, what I expect is as we get back to this, it's going to start it over. So let's watch that, and look, that's exactly what happened. We're here at 5, 6, 7. So it continues to play 9 when we're on this slide, and when we go to the next one, it'll continue to play. So that's fine, but when we get to the slide that the music is actually on, it starts over. So no matter how long I've made this music, in, in this case, this is actually an audio podcast of mine. Here, let me show you the duration. So it's 14 minutes, 59 seconds. So that is, for some reason, this info center has decided to pop up. So I'm going to close that. Okay, so for I might think, well, it'll play for 14.59. No, it takes uh, not very long to get all the way through it. So here it starts over. So that's no good at all. That, that doesn't help me whatsoever. So let me... 
uh, real quick, I'm going to remove that uh, that. And here's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to go to the very last slide. And I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to, you can't see it, it's down here. There's a choice copy. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it. So now we have two of these same things. Now, I'm going to right click on this and uh, the go to next timer, I'm going to click on that because remember in the earlier episode where I added the loops to first slide, I'm going to make sure that I have that unchecked. So that leaves the eight second timer on it, which is good, but it gets rid of this uh, loops to first slide. So, I have a couple of options here, and it really depends on personal preference as to which way I want to do this. Because you'll notice that when it gets to this, it loops to this first slide. So this one stays out of the loop. That's important. So now I can grab this, put it on the last one here, which is outside of the loop. And when I first start the loop, I can click on that one and that starts playing. We see it playing up here. We're still playing the loop up here, you see. And if I'd left the loops to first slide, it would then go to here, which is perfectly fine. So I could actually do that. That's uh, one thing that I did not do earlier. What I did was I did this. So I pop this up here and with the loops to first slide removed, uh, and this as the first slide, I click on hide. Where is that? Disable slide. Okay. So, when I first open this loop, beginning, when I first get there in the morning or whatever, what I do is I have this music uh, that's in the right hand corner here. I have this music set. I will probably want to, instead of having it set to stop, I will set that to here. Let me get it over where you can see it. Right click on it, behavior, loop. see why that didn't do it but loop there we go so it has the loop icon on it then when I add that in then it will this will continue to loop so that's a, a pretty cool thing that it will continue to loop this music starting from when I click on this which, because the last slide here, the last slide down here is the same as the first slide up here, then the loop remains the same. It just looks from the audience perspective as if I've started with the last slide. But they don't know what's last, right? unless there's some indication that this is the last slide. They don't know that this is the last slide. So it's the same number of slides. In every way it's the same, but it, uh, it basically starts with the music and that music continues to loop over and over and over again. So if I, here in this audio bin, if I go to the end, We would expect it could be that I need to drag this and uh, put it back on, but I would expect that what's going to happen is that's going to loop. So, um, or actually, I don't need that to be that short. 30 seconds. Okay, so 30 and so on. 
So we will see if that loops here in just a second. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And does it loop? No, it didn't. Okay, so let's remove it from up here. Right click, remove queue. Let's remove that and let's add this back in because that's an important piece of the puzzle. I'm going to start that playing. Let's go to the end. Last 30 seconds. That's what I did over here. So we're at 20 seconds. Here, let me scoot that over so you can see. Really wish I was going in HD, but my internet connection cannot handle that. So 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And will this loop? Yes, it loops. So that's something for you to keep in mind is if you change the looping after you've added the queue, then that won't uh, affect it. So that is another way to do it where the music starts at the first slide, but then it doesn't start over. And the advantage of doing that is that you have a single click that starts the slideshow. So what really, the reason that that really made a lot of difference to me is I had the very last element down at the end of service was a, let's say it was right here. Uh, I think I have uh, any videos in here. Let's see if I do. I don't think I do. No, I don't. So during the last element, the last element that I was playing was a video. I was playing a video from ProPresenter 5. And I knew that immediately after the video ended, I needed to go to the loop. So first service, what I did was I clicked on the slides after the video ended, then I went over to the audio bin and I clicked the audio. Not so much good. I knew that if I put the audio on the slide, it would start over when, that, when the loop started over. So that wasn't any good. So that got me to thinking, how can I do it so that it works? Now, another possibility is I could have several copies of this last slide. So I could add. So I can go down here, copy it, and go down and paste it. Leave the loops to first slide on and add that and paste another copy. And if I had another MP3, I could add the other MP3 and so on. And I could go through it like that. That's a possibility. I could put several of them up here in succession and that wouldn't be automatic but when I noticed that the music was coming to an end I could click on another one and just start the process over and over and over again so that wouldn't be a set it and forget it kind of way of doing things if you really wanted to have this as set it and forget it uh, what you would do is you would have one audio mp3 with several songs in it. Maybe you had this perfect playlist and uh, 
maybe it's a 15 minute playlist, 30 minutes worth of music, something like that, where it doesn't loop 20 times, it loops maybe twice before or after the service, something like that, and um, set that as a single MP3. So that's a couple of fun tricks. Next week, I'm going to talk about some wish list items. If I was working at Renewed Vision, which you know that I love Renewed Vision, but I, I really in, enjoy what I do helping change lives and eternities by doing tech uh, and teaching tech of all s different shapes and sorts and sizes and everything for the church. But if I was working at Renewed Vision and they said, Paul, you get to determine the feature list for ProPresenter 6, what would I ask for? That's what we'll talk about next week. So until then, this is uh, Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, etc. this video. And uh, remember, you can subscribe either here or at TrinityDigitalMedia.com slash subscribe. And when I say here, here if you're watching it on YouTube, as most people are. Uh, if you subscribe on trinitydigitalmedia.com, you'll get it automatically delivered to your iPhone or your Android phone using whatever pod-catching software you use. And uh, that would be very helpful. You can share this with all your friends. That is the best way to help the show other than giving at Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Paul Allen Cliff, P A T R E O N dot com slash P A U L A L A N C L I F. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with Trinity Digital Media dot com.